Aloha everyone. I'm Rick Kirkham of InHomeComputerHelp.com. Today we're going to transfer some files from one external hard drive to another, but you can also use this to transfer uh, files, say, from your cell phone to your brand new memory card and things like that. So it's not just for external hard drives, it's for any storage devices that you can attach to the computer. Now the first thing I'm going to suggest everyone do, and this is based on my experience as a uh, computer virus removal specialist here on Oahu at all, uh, as, as well. What I want everyone to do is to change your folder options so that you can see your extensions because that's uh, kind of an old trick that hackers do when something might say .pdf .exe and you don't see the .exe so all of a sudden you're double clicking on a virus uh, so let's take care of that well, on your on your Windows computer uh, press your Windows key hold down the Windows key and tap the X and you get this cool little secret menu that most people don't know about and from here we're gonna go to control panel and your easiest bet for viewing most people will see this right here under category view so just go up to category and go to large icons and then click on folder options under folder options go to view and uncheck you don't notice mine already it usually comes like this uncheck hide extensions for known file types that's a I don't know why they do that I wish they wouldn't do that as a default but it definitely safer and easier when you know what the file extensions are because you know if it's a text file a PDF or an exe or executable file so from here let's move on and actually go ahead and, and copy our file we're going to create something called a batch file and our man, our primary command is x copy and the reason we're doing this is because and this will probably be the case on your uh, storage devices I've already got files on here and I've already got files on the other one uh, so I only want to overwrite files that are newer and I and I want to add new files I don't want to drag and drop the whole thing I mean this is a one terabyte hard external hard drive that I'm copying to a tera a two terabyte external hard drive and I don't want to overwrite anything uh, that I don't have to overwrite so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just right mouse click here right on the desktop for a menu and we're gonna put this command right on the desktop and we're gonna go into text document and we're just gonna type in uh, I don't know extension 1 to extension 2 dot B A T and that's how you can do that after you change that extension option in your folder so now I'm going to press enter it's going to give me this warning here that what asking me whether or not I really want to do this or not and I'm going to tell it yes and now here's the basic command you're going to type in you're going to uh, right mouse click on this okay so I right mouse clicked and clicked on edit and we're going to type in X copy and just for now it's just going to be blah one okay that's a colon backslash okay notice that's a backslash asterisk period asterisk that's like wildcard period wildcard and that's going to blah two colon backslash now we put in make a space here and now put in a forward slash and here we're gonna put in all of these different switches for X copy 
Okay, so we're going to start with forward slash y. Uh, forward slash y means gives it permission to overwrite. Forward slash d for date. Forward slash e for empty folders. Forward slash c to continue if there's an error. I always do a forward slash I and I can't remember what it stands for, sorry. Uh, y, D, E, oh, and forward slash S, very important. That'll do all the subcategories or all the uh, subfolders for you that way. So we're going to save this. And now we're going to, now we're going to plug in our source external hard drive. So you guys probably heard that. And we're going to get a little notification in the upper right hand corner. Or it's just going to open like it just did. That's fine too. And here's what I want to know right here. Okay, that's E. So we're going to replace blah1 with E. And okay, then we're going to plug in the other one. These are, these are being plugged into USB ports, okay? It's a little rectangular looking uh, ports that you see. Some of you may be wondering what, what they are. And if it doesn't come up, we can go and look for it. There's a way to do that to get to. So we're going to go back to here. And let's take a look here. Ah, we got two double click. There's E and there's F. Okay, so that worked out well. So let's replace blah2 with f. And now what I like to do right here is uh, make a new line. And then I'm going to type in the word pause. Because otherwise, if there's an error, if there's something I did wrong, I'll be able to see it. Because the DOS box, the command line box, will not close on me right away. So I'm going to exit this and then it's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to tell it yes. I can go ahead and close this too. Now I just double click. And as you know, as you can see here, everything is starting to copy, including trash for some reason. So let's just stop that right now and empty my trash. Sorry about that. So I right mouse clicked on this to empty the trash. And that's empty. Yeah, I want to permanent. I don't want to delete all that. Okay, we're back. Let's double click on this again. And all my files are being copied from one storage device to the other without me worried about having to lose anything. I'm the only thing that this is being added to because of the switches that we made our uh, newer files are overwriting older files and then new files are being added to the new storage device and obviously I'm not gonna wait and we're, we're not gonna sit here and watch it so we're done with this uh, so we're not gonna wait for all of this to uh, to get done that's basically all we do and I'm going to minimize this and once again here's that little command there X copy and I showed you how to get the name of that file remember that's a backslash asterisk period asterisk stands for wildcard period wildcard and then you got all those switches right there that you need and that's it. Of course, you're always welcome to uh, call me. I can do this for you remotely. Or I can uh, make a house call if you're in Honolulu, Hawaii, or anywhere on Oahu and do it for you, of course. Uh, so that's it. That's your little quick tip. Aloha and God bless you.